action. All right. Got the lovely Mrs. behind the camera there turning it on for us this <laughs> evening. As we are outside getting eaten alive by mosquitoes here at Two Rednecks in an Import. And just remember our catchphrase. The opinions we have when we're sober are not necessarily the opinions we have during this drunken review. Kurt and Bubba have been pre-gaming quite a while, so this should be interesting. We should have a total shock jock on my left here, uh, as usual, and a semi-shock jock on the right, because Bubba, even though drunk, is not as shocking. We call still, him Boomer. We, yeah, I still he's, got my taste buds, so I'll be able to... <laughs> he's still got uh, his taste buds. Your taste buds are far better than mine, though. Yeah, so we're just being very lucky. So. so I guess it's going to be up to me and Bubba, because Kurt apparently has no taste buds left yeah. for the night. All right, well, so this is first beer, and we're going to do this in increments, because no one wants to watch our videos when they're 46 minutes long. <laughs> Even though we have... 14 subscribers now and a new background thank a new you. background thank, thank you, you 14 subscribers. all 14 oh. subscribers <laughs> and 110 views total which means hey i was able to talk my wife into using the barn doors as a backdrop all right you want to open up the very first beer here kurt since it's the one that you brought <laughs> yes sir. samuel adams oktoberfest because it's october here in texas and, and it's no around longer, the rest of america and it's no longer 102 degrees outside it's no longer 102 degrees which means we can drink dark beer again <laughs> yes. or oktoberfest or ipas so the gamut of expensive beers is back just look at the orange look. color of the Pardon. pumpkin color of beer and yeah we shall see if, if uh, the uh looks like a, there you go sir thank you sir just before filming began the makeup dog came over and my dog barks not all over my leg the makeup dog is the official makeup artist for Two Written X yeah. and an Import. Yeah, she's a uh, Pyrenees. She's, she's an evil great Pyrenees, but we love her. Uh, for California people, Pyrenees are dogs that are bred to go out and kill coyotes. And wipe snot on you. <laughs> and wipe dog <laughs> snot all over your leg. <laughs> At least it's better than the uh, the Alabama leg hound that, you know, we I, I miss the days when the, the dog would not come near me. No, she, <laughs> she looks for me just to wipe dogs down all over my legs. All right, boys. Yes, Are y'all ready to yes, sir. partake of this? Samuel Adams. Give is, it a whiff and a <laughs> smell. And, and later we'll give it a whiz. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another story. And uh, as it, it says, it's Samuel Adams seasonal Oktoberfest, being as yeah. it's called Oktoberfest. Yeah, it only comes out. <laughs> it actually only comes out around October. And uh, it's said it's hearty and smooth. We'll have to see about that. Yes, yeah, sir. It's a good beer. And uh, I think it's only like a 5.4% alcohol content. Actually, 5.3. Oh, 5.3, even yeah. less. And that's very unusual for our California friend when he brings out a dark root beer. Yeah. Usually he's in the sevens, eights, I, nines, yeah, or tens. I brought a sissy beer out so. today. Yeah, was he? All right, let's try, <laughs> let's try this. <clears throat> wow, it's good. That is really good. Sam Adams, they, they make great beers. Yeah, that's better than their uh, regular old Samuel Adams yeah. beer. So they should make this all year long. Just a note to the Samuel Adams people: better than your regular beer, which is a good beer. Mm -hmm. And if you want us to review your December fest, please send us. Here. <laughs> yes, please. We, as you can see, we spent all every dime we had on a backdrop. We just look at the fabulous backdrop, though. Yeah, and is. you notice we even got a beer sign that has a chicken on it. We should have said Elsa <laughs> for, <for> him. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what they're talking about. Yes, <laughs> Elsa, like and, and, everybody. And how come he's bringing homemade eggs over here, uh, fresh from his <laughs> chickens? Nothing to do with chickens. Elsa Young, man. Lots of, I yeah, I am. Yeah, yes. something like that. Yeah, we don't even know. We apparently we've drank too much already this evening. Yeah, but this is the, the four corners. If you get a chance to drink either, they make awesome beer. It's one of the craft breweries out here. Make awesome beer. They don't advertise it enough, but they do make awesome beer. Had some at the Texas State Fair. Oh yes, it was his first state fair of, in Texas where we have the world's largest state fair. And not like them people out in California like have a bunch of lot. little bears. Howdy! He never got to see the original. This is the we replacement for the burnt. <laughs> Did you tanks. get to ride the Ferris wheel? or? No, we didn't ride the Ferris wheel, but uh, we went through a lot of the, uh, the cheesy maze things. Uh, it looks like it's the back of a semi-trailer. Oh, man. Oh, 
Uh, you know, the, the wheel spins, the, you got the mirror maze. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, you that's know what cool. was? My grandson loves those things. <laughs> You know what's horrible is the fact that we're on YouTube and I can't say the jokes that come to my head when you talk about riding a Ferris wheel. They're horrible jokes because it'd be an oak lawn and be riding a fairy wheel. But that's another story. <laughs> Man, you gotta go through a little rough neighborhood before you get there, but we'll oh, well, it was actually really nice. <laughs> or Fair Park is what I'm thinking of. Oh, wait. Oh, you're thinking of Fair Park, not Oak Lawn. That, mm -hmm. now, Fair Park's actually revitalizing. Oh, it's really? actually. Uh, it's actually nice now. Yes. Well, uh, compared to what it was, it's still yeah. you don't want to go there at night. Not at all. It's uh, it's an old old uh, fairground from the built in the twenties, I believe, and a lot of Art Deco architecture. It's actually pretty good, but the the area around it is is revitalizing. Mm -hmm. So if you ever come to Dallas, go there during the day, yes. enjoy the architecture. It's Art Deco. It's really cool, but get the hell out of there before dark. Yeah, my That's wife the noticed that as we were driving yeah. through during the morning. It's like, this oh, is a shame. And you get to watch the Texas OU game. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. Texas OU plays there. So, you know, you better get while the getting is good. And please don't root for those ugly-ass Sooners. Please don't root for them. <laughs> Maybe they'll lose their wheel or wagon wheel or something. That, they'll the oh, they've lost their will. They will lose. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. But, yeah, he, had, he didn't go there 20, 30 years ago when, man, the area was looked like a looked like Detroit basically it was like a bombed out area it was horrible and you get to the fair you'd be okay but man once you got out of the fair your car burned out never break down yeah it'd be horrible you'd be like I am the wrong person to be stuck in this area of town with my car broken down by the time you got back it'd be up on blocks it, it was a bad area but Dallas is actually doing a good job revitalizing areas of their, of their city so even though they're not a Republican city they're doing a darn good job in Dallas of revitalizing their areas, making them safe for everyone, including us, rednecks. <laughs> and and, ca and Californians. Mm -hmm. All right, boys, so back to the beer. Honest review. I, you know, I'm going I'm to give it a four. It's not a five or a 4.5, it's, it's, it's a four. It's, it's a solid four. Solid now, four. what does it remind you of, though? Remind you of anything? No. Uh, it reminds them of beer. It's <laughs> really good beer. It's a beer all on its own. I think what stories have I told you that this may bring back a... chickens? It reminds me of the night I found chickens. I was drunk on some really good, tasty. Uh, yeah, you're a good sure uh, beer. Beer. Emu. An emu. Let me tell you about those chickens. And the emus are fantastic. <laughs> Matter of fact, there's one. Yeah. They're just harder to catch. Yeah. <laughs> You go some of their eggs, matter back. of fact, these are uh, baby emus, if you ever heard of them. <laughs> emus. The ostrich, boy, that was a tough one. <laughs> yeah, they're fast. They're fast. Never you can ride them, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it better be a tame one, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Oh, a man could lose something if he is not a tame one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Bubba, what do you think about the same one? It reminds me of being in a pumpkin patch back in... The old days, you know, now, uh, orange, <laughs> orange label, and hey, it's Oktoberfest, so it's, it, it's a good. It's a good we did bring out the clear glass for this. I'll beer. give it we'll a, bring it out for the next. I'll one. give it a four as well. It, I mean, and it's the, not bitter. Yeah, no, it's not bitter at all. It, has a good, it doesn't have a bad aftertaste. No, it's a good all. aftertaste. Uh, that's what I enjoy the best is the aftertaste. Yeah, it, I I can't place what it. It smells like a regular beer, basically, but it's got a good flavor to it. I kind of got the taste of like coffee on the end, in the yeah. end notes of it. Uh, it's a very good beer. Yeah, it does have I've seen it as that candle beer without the candle flavor. <laughs> <laughs> the candle without the candle. <laughs> yeah, this it, it's Not almost the like beer a. Again. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and go with a professional sounding uh, taste. It has a toasted barley or hops <laughs> taste to it. It has a toasted type. If I could read this label, I could just say it too. <laughs> it's not on the label. Y'all can read one. That's actually my own thing. But uh, no, it, it does. It reminds me of those ones that always have that on the label. Though. It says, well, yeah. a toasted barley or what. Yeah, it sure. actually has that flavor to yeah, it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's, it's like a it. toasted barley. And it's a good American supporting mm -hmm. beer. I mean, Samuel Well, Adams. named after a patriot, sir. Yes, sir. And Adam. Samuel Adams. Samuel Adams. God bless you, sir. <laughs> 
Yes, sir. Thank you for whatever you done for us. <laughs> <laughs> He's not sure. He hasn't read his history books, but apparently he did something really cool. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to teach Bubba some history. But I didn't know a lot video. of history about him. I'm just uh, no. He was a patriot. He was he was a man who fought for our independence. You're gonna so, have to watch. Um, but um. You know, to tell if the Democrats told the story, it would be something damn different. Here we he go. was a terrorist. He was a terrorist, damn it. He was a terrorist against King George. <laughs> he should have been hung and <laughs> by King George's people. But he was a great American. God bless him. Yes, Everyone sir. read up on Sam Adams. And thanks to the guy who named his beer company after Samuel Adams, so people actually know who the hell he is. <laughs> the guy who invented beer. <laughs> yeah, he invented beer in America. No, not really, but it's a really good beer. Oh, here it goes back to biblical. Oh, we're going biblical, are we? Yeah. What about the Assyrians? Yeah, Weren't they pre biblical? Brawler. Actually, it goes back to the Assyrians. The BC times. B yeah, way BC. Yeah, way BC. Way BC. Because you know what? Beer is proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. Yeah. All right, guys, this will be it for our shortened, shortened version. Less brilliant than usual because. <laughs> We're not as drunk as usual, yes. but catch our next 10 to 15 minute episode. We'll be more brilliant. We'll be more brilliant because we're filming it all on the same night. But we're putting it in a bite sized chunk, so please, for God's sake, watch them since they're shorter. Yeah. Uncensored and unfiltered. And uncensored, unfiltered. And when you watch the third one, that'll be the funniest. <laughs> and then by the time we get dark. to After Dark, we're going to be brilliant. Hilarious. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn off this camera for now so we can get our next beer ready. We're going to go ahead and polish these off. And thanks for watching. Remember, the opinions, especially the joke about Oak Lawn, is not necessarily our opinion when mm. we're sober. And we love chickens. We, <laughs> some of us more than others. <laughs>